Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Honda Accord that generation between year 2008 and year 2012. If you guys have one of those and you need to find the EVAP fuses, you may have up to few, two fuses. Stay with us, we'll explain where the EVAP fuses are located, uh, where to buy cheap fuses and relays, that way you don't waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered in this video today for your convenience. Make sure to stay until the end. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us, guys. If you have that Honda Accord, that generation from year 2008 to 12, we'll be making video for every fuse, every relay. Why we do that, guys? To save you time and money. Because in the manual, it's not clear what the fuses are for. On those little bitty labels, you have abbreviations that you have no idea what it means. And let's say you're down the road, you need a fuel pump fuse, or you need to find a cigarette lighter fuse because you cannot charge your phone and your navigation doesn't work. Stay with us, guys. And we're going to share videos on that channel for every single fuse and relay uh, another thing every single car guys that we get at our garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything the mechanical videos will be on our main youtube channels right there guys all together we have about 1.2 million subscribers we have helped over 1 million people save thousands of dollars and uh, let me show you something else guys if you need to buy relays fuses at a really good price guys we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from that way you don't waste uh, time and money guys uh, because some of those could be really expensive you have those special fuses uh, that are specific honda fuses that could be really expensive hard to find and uh we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can find the fuses realize that way you don't waste your money so the EVAP fuses guys, where they're located, let's go ahead and explain now on a 2010 right here guys, Honda Accord. Fun fact, you have three different fuse boxes, we're working two of them today. The first one is located inside your Honda Accord, on the driver's side, under the dash, if you look upside down above the pedals, you're going to see guys a fuse box that looks just like this one, this is the layout here. Before we guys continue, let's always explain why it's a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burned or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out here for the evap the one fuse we'll need to check here then we'll go to a different fuse box next to the fuses you have numbers if i zoom in a little bit you can clearly see them and the fuse that we'll need to check is fuse number seven guys that 15 m fuse in our case that's the one that you will need to check now if you go under the hood you will have another fuse box the main engine management fuse box right here open that cover and you're going to see that layout okay right here okay now here which fuses we need to check we need to check just one fuse here guys and we're talking about fuse number 14 we're talking about that 15 m fuse right there that you will need to check for the evap system hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time